marching in the streets to support the message Black Lives Matter. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve Price and I'm Alicia Summers for the ninth consecutive day. San Diegans made their voices heard today. A massive group an estimated 3000 march through downtown San Diego. It was one of many across the county that had people standing up against racial injustice and police brutality. News 8's Teresa Sardina caught up with some of today's protesters. We're at 6th and Pennsylvania, and as you can see right behind me, 3,000 plus protesters marching from downtown San Diego, making their way up to Hillcrest. And it looks like and sounds like peaceful protesting, which is a different scene than last weekend. Large crowd of peaceful protesters Saturday morning, marching from downtown San Diego to Hillcrest, holding up signs of justice, protesters chanting <laughs> to honor the memory of George Floyd. From protesters to supporters. Really just trying to lift up black voices right now. I think they need to be heard, and I think police brutality in this country is completely out of hand. From residents watching from a distance. In solidarity with everybody that uh, what they're doing is just and what we need is reform and we need uh, things to change. Many affected by Floyd's tragic death in Minneapolis. It's the American way if you have feel there's injustice or there's something in government that you disagree with, you have the right to assemble and protest peacefully. Ending with a peaceful rally. It's been over a week of protests. Residents tell News 8 it's good to see peaceful change in our city rather than destruction. As demonstrations continue throughout the county, San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner is asking protesters to make their voices heard, but in a peaceful way. Back to you. All right, Teresa, thank you. And in Vista today, hundreds of Southern California mothers and activists flooded Civic Center Park demanding criminal justice reform. I want to hear you guys shout for social justice right now. <laughs> The event featured groups of mothers, organizations tackling police brutality, racism, and criminal injustice. The rally featured speeches from the Racial Justice Coalition of San Diego. The group then marched through the park with hundreds of local supporters. Starting in Torrey Pines this morning, Black Lives Matter San Diego and March for Black Women hosted a caravan protest calling out racial injustice on the local and national level. Cars lined up across streets and freeways to ensure social distancing. The caravan made its way from Torrey Pine Scenic Drive all the way to Santee. Then it went through El Cajon National City and eventually to Otay Mesa. A paddle out for peace this morning off the coast of Pacific Beach. <laughs> Hundreds of surfers paddled out at Tourmaline just after nine to honor the life of George Floyd and send the message that Black Lives Matter. They were joined in solidarity by hundreds of others who were standing on the beach cheering the surfers on. Similar paddle outs are so scheduled for tomorrow in Ocean Beach and Monday in La Jolla. A second memorial for George Floyd took place today in North Carolina. Floyd's family and friends remembered his life in the town where he was born. A third and final service is going to take place in Houston, where Floyd was raised. That's going to happen Tuesday. Floyd's death under the knee of Minneapolis police officer has sparked more than a week of demonstrations over police brutality and racial in injustice. We're going to take a closer look at some from around the world later today in our show. One week ago today, the city of La Mesa was devastated by widespread looting, vandalism and arson after protests earlier in the day took a violent turn as night fell. Just hours after that destructive chaos, the community band together in numbers coming out to help in the cleanup and the rebuilding of the businesses that were targeted. News 8's Richard Allen has a look at La Mesa one week later as the community continues to heal and move forward. Richard? 
And Alicia, what a difference one week makes. This is a scene that really makes the heart happy. Take a look at this. More than 100 people out here in La Mesa to show their support for the small businesses. Now, this vigil got underway just about half an hour ago. Dozens and dozens of La Mesa community members coming out to show their solidarity with those businesses decimated by last Saturday night's riots here in La Mesa, as well as all the residents who are impacted. And we spoke with a longtime owner of a roundtable pizza who was among those businesses targeted Saturday night, a scene he described as a war zone. It was chaos. Chaos, absolute chaos. We didn't, in those moments, it's not order. You don't know what's going to happen next. You know, it's possible you die or he die. Or somebody, because you don't know. And business owner Mahmoud Moyede says while Saturday was the worst night of his life, Sunday was the best day. So many people showing up to help and clean up and rebuild these businesses, demonstrating La Mesa is moving forward from last weekend's dark chapter. Businesses that had been busted out now cleaned up and reopened, although some still with plywood in the place of those windows. Of course, this was in response to the arrest, the confrontational arrest, controversial arrest of Omari Johnson a week ago Wednesday, as well as the death of George Floyd in police custody in Minneapolis Memorial. Memorial Day, owner Mahmoud Moyeti telling us that when he witnessed how many people came out to help out La Mesa get back on its feet, he was overwhelmed. I start crying. I, I couldn't control myself. You know, it's just so emotional. This, you know, people are kind. They don't know me. Most of them, all of them, and there was so much love. And back out live, we can actually see La Mesa's police chief talking to the community right now. So many communities out here, so many members of the community talking about what it's going to take to get La Mesa back on its feet. All of these people here telling us that they plan to go out after this vigil and support La Mesa small businesses. Stephen Alicia, back to you. And I can tell you right now. Taking steps in the right direction. Richard, thank you. Well, there will not be a curfew tonight in the city of Santee, but there is going to be one tomorrow night, and that's going to take place from 7 p.m. until Monday morning at 6, and is going to include everything west of Magnolia Avenue. City leaders say that they will call for an emergency curfew tonight if they decide that there's a risk to public health and safety.